ओम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पठ्यता वंदे कुपरंपरा ओं सहना सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर्यकै तेजस्वीनाबीतमस्तुमाषा वह ओं शांति 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 त्रैलोक्यनाथ हरिमीड्य मुदार सत्व शक्तेनुजतन परमेकल जीमूत मुक्त विमलांबरचारुवर्ण वासीष्ठ मुद्र तपस प्रणतस्मी निर थिंक अराउंड हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन मे बी लोकड दि अवस्थात्रय विवेक इन द लास्ट क्लास एंड फाइनली दि आचार्य आलो टूक द टर्म तुरीया because the word turiya is used for atma and then there is a doubt you say that atma is nirgunah nirvishesha but what about this uh, turiyatva itself can it become a guna or a visheshana to atma because now you are saying it is the fourth so the acharya pointed out that this turiyam also is not something which is intrinsic to atma or it is a guna or anything like that turiya the fourth is only with reference to the other three we talk of atma as something different from the three states of experience therefore it is said that it is the fourth but the three states of experiences themselves are shown as only mithya correct asatyam and therefore this fourth also because it is only with reference to the other three that also is not really uh, the as is intrinsic to atma that is also false it is only really used as a teaching device that's why sometimes we have names like turiya tita ananda and all that turiya tita also sometimes people say that only to point out that atma Does not have fourth also. It transcends any counting or any numbers and all that. Correct. So uh, this turiyam itself is based on uh, this anurta guna. Correct. After anurta vastu, manas, etc. The the avasthas themselves are only for the body mind sense complex. Correct. atma does not have any avastha or any state the waking also is for only the body mind sense complex dream also is only for the mind okay and the deep sleep also is really mind resolving into its karana atma is always the same it is the alupta dhrike it is the seer of the sight correct drishtehe drashtaram and there is no vipari lopa for that like it is said in the bradhaneka it never stops it never ceases the seer of the sight never ceases it never stops it is always there it is always there as it is even while the jagrat is there it is the same even when the dream is happening it is the same even when the mind sleeps also atma is the same because atma alone is the sakshi even then because of that only you can wake up and say i did not know anything i slept well all that okay sukham aham asso apsam like that we can recollect about the sleep after getting up because the atma chaitanya was the sakshi so atma only with reference to the three states which which themselves are mithya which come and go is called the four but in fact it is in and through the all the other the three states also so the turiya word itself cannot be taken 
and said that Atma has this Puriyatva as a Guna. So this was the point which was raised. And when uh, to actually refute that Turiya is a Guna, Acharya said finally here, Tad Asatyam Asatya Gunascha Okay. Tataha Parinirmita Varana Cheshtita Vati. So this, he said that this all these three states are all only Mithya. They do not really exist. It is like even some elephant. It's not a real elephant, okay? Either like people are very afraid of mad elephants and they are going in some forest, let us say, forest area known for wild elephants and all that. And then they see a stone which looks like an elephant from a distance, correct? So that is the Parinirmita Varana. Varana is elephant. <laughs> you have superimposed an elephant on wherever there is no elephant. And then now it looks like that elephant is charging at you or whatever, correct? It is looking at you angrily. Then you become all afraid. This is possible. You are already under the grip of the fear of wild elephants. So when you are frightened, all these things are very much possible. So you are seeing things which are not there really. And you think that the elephant is about to charge you or whatever. So you are also superimposing some cheshta, although it is simply only some stone, which is like, which has some shape like an elephant. That's all. Correct. But there is no real elephant or anything there. It's only an appearance. Like this, these three avasthas are all only appearances. They are all superimpositions on the Atma. They don't have any existence of their own. And even this fourth is only with reference to those three superimposed states. Therefore, this is nothing but only so that this fourth also is equally asatya. Like even see, sad asatyam means tad here is the mind. The body mind sense complex is asatyam, and all these three states are also only asatya gunaha. They are all they are all qualities of the body mind sense complex. And the fourth is only with reference to those three, and it is also equally asatyam. Like this, the Maya Mayatvam of the Jagat is said here. Although Acharya does not use the word Maya. I don't think he has used the word Maya anywhere in the Shuddhisara Samudharanam itself. But he is pointing out to the same idea here. It is Parinirmita Varana, he says. It's not real. It's an unreal cognition. That's all. Now, the next few verses he will now try to establish the Mithyatvam of the Jagat. Okay, that it is Asatyam, he said here. So the Asatyatvam of the Jagat, Acharya will establish that. So we will see how he does that. Of course, he uses the Shruti only for that. Okay. So, Gagana Pramukham Prithivi Charamam Vishayendriya Buddhimana Sahitam Okay, Shrutayaha Pravadanti Upamana Shataihi. The Shrutis are giving you hundreds of analogies, examples. For what? Okay, Jagad Yetad Abhuta Miti Janimad Jagat. The Jagat which is Having which is like created, it sustains, it again goes back, correct? All that janimat it is. It's having the created world, you can say, janimat jagate, abhutam. So another word, he said asatyam before. Abhutam also means the same thing. Abhutam means it is not real. Bhu sattayam, same thing. Whether you use asat, 
are abhutam it's all the same thing asatyam abhutam means it is not there really it's only an appearance and what kind of a created jagat is this he is saying all these things are included in the jagat correct starting from akasha gagana pramukham prithivi charamam ending with earth so the all the five mahabhutas and then all the bhutikas so the five elements and the elementals what are the elementals it includes your own body mind sense complex okay so the elements are there all these elements and then from that only everything else in the world has come that is our srishti prakriya we have a model of creation and then in that your own body mind sense complex are also are made up of these five elements only vishaya so the sense objects the objective world also are elementals only and the, your own body mind sense complex which are the subject they are also elementals vishaya indriya buddhi manas sahitam so everything which you experience and the experiencer are the subject also all of that it's all part of the created world including your body mind sense complex correct buddhi manas sahitam indriya buddhi manas sahitam everything and all these things are abhutam they are not there really and there are so many shruti vakyas and shruti also gives lot of examples for you to easily understand this okay so now let us further see kapha pitta samirana dhatu dhritam ಶರೀರಮಿದಂ ಸತತ ಪ್ರಭವ ಪ್ರಭೃತಿ ಪ್ರಲಯಾಂತಮಿದ ಜಗದಗ್ನಿರಿಗ್ನಿರವೀಂದು ಧೃತ ಹಿ ತಕೆ ಸೋ ದ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಯು ಬೋತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಆರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ Atma alone is really there. So for that he is saying, whatever you think as the body, the body, there is no body really. If you look at the body, it is all again made up of different things, correct? So in the Ayurveda, we say that the body is made up of three things, Kapha, correct? Vata, Pitta and Kapha, like that. there are three things are there they are called dhatu okay so this whole body is supported or it is nothing but vata pitta and kapha only they only make up this body in fact in the i think i have more kapha no? <laughs> i got some allergy so my voice also is slightly different so if one of the this dhatus become more means they are not in equilibrium means then problems are there in the body okay but when they are in equilibrium only the body functions properly otherwise there are problems like that the body itself is only supported by this vata and pitta and kapha is dhatu dhritam means that which is supported or that which is based on these three things and what kind of a shariram <laughs> acharya is kushariram he says kutsita shariram is kutsita means not uh, uh, something which is not very uh, let us say laudable or whatever correct it is reprehensible so the body is looked upon even if there are a lot of literature even tamil the siddha siddhar padal and all that the songs of siddhas they do talk about the body in a certain manner just to give a certain perspective about the body i think otherwise people take their own body too seriously correct right? you have to maintain your body no doubt but <laughs> you cannot uh, take yourself only as a body correct right? most people live as though they are the body alone 
which is a tragedy actually. So the shariram is not something very great or anything. Right? It is putsita shariram only. It is something which is we don't have to dignify it too much. Okay. So kushariram idam satatam hi yatha. So it is always supported by this. All these three vata pitta kapa. Similarly. Okay. Prabhava prabriti pralayanta midam jagat. The jagat. Which is having again its own birth. Body also has birth. Then it is there for some time and then it dies. Similarly the jagat also has prabhava etc. Correct. And ends in pralaya. This Jagat also is supported by what three things he is Agni, He, Ravi, and Hindu. So Agni, Ravi, Hindu, Dhritam. Okay. So this world is supported means the worldly activities are happening only when the light is there. Correct. In fact, right now we are doing Jyotis Brahmanam in Pradarneta. There also we talk about, it starts with Aditya only, correct? The light of the Aditya and then the light of the Chandrama, then the light of the Agni, then the light of the lightning, etc. Like then it goes. Other forms of light. If no light is there also, you have other sense objects available through your sense organs. Using that also you can do some activity. Like that, the Jyoti itself is defined as something in, in the presence of which the worldly activities take place. That's how Jyoti is, is understood. So, only in the presence of some Jyoti, some light, any activity takes place. So, the entire Jagat and its activities are supported by this Agni, Ravi and Hindu, uh, etc. You can add even lightning and some other things to that. But the, the idea is that it's not by itself, there is nothing. Means it, is, it requires some support. But now, whatever the Jagat depends on, okay, that itself will be shown as Vidya. Okay, because the Jagat itself is only five elements and elementals and all the elements themselves are Vithya only. That's what the uh, Acharya wants to show us. And of course the Udaharana, he already said that there, it is, there are a lot of Upamana Shatehi, he says. There are a lot of Upamanas are there. And Acharya is going to take the Chandogya Shruti only. The sixth chapter of Chandogya has given the Upamana also, correct? Vacharamanam, Vikaro, Namadheyam, Rittika, Ityeva, Satyam. So, it gives the Udaharanam of the the Rittika, clay. Okay. Everything which is made up of clay is only name and form the clay alone is Satyam. Correct? So like that, this, uh, this Udharana was given to us. Similarly what? He gave the Loha Mani. Okay? So Loha here is actually gold. And then Loha Mani is some gold jewelry we can take. So, gold and jewellery, Udaharana was also given in the Chandogya Shuddhi. Then, interestingly, Nakha Nikrintana. <laughs> Nakha Nikrintana means nail cutter. And Kashna S. Yes. Kashna S yes is uh, iron. Okay, iron and nail cutter are some kind of an iron alloy, we can take it. Even some kind of steel must have been there. So, the nail cutter also has been given. So, the nail cutter also is a name and form one. So, these Udharanas and all the Upamanas are given in the Chandogya Shruti to show that the Karana alone is there. The Karya is nothing but 
it's all mithya it is only names and forms it doesn't have any independent existence of its own now the same thing here you see something as as a conglomeration of parts correct it's all it's a complex compound but once you see the whatever this compound is made up of there, there is no more that compound correct? correct only those whatever it is made up of is there but even that again if you analyze something else is there so we say clay is there first you say pot is there then you say no no only clay alone is there because even when the pot is not there clay is there then when the pot is there also clay is there so like this before the pot is born clay is there pot has been created clay is there pot has been destroyed clay is there so clay alone is satyam because it alone is there always pot is only a name and form it comes and goes correct like this other upamanas are there same thing can be said about gold and jewelry and any iron implements also correct like a nail cutter etc so this is there but then if you look at the gold itself then you will say that gold atom alone is real first then atom also is made up of neutron proton electron it keeps going like that correct so really what is there we don't know in fact the if you go to the quantum level they say 99% is space So then whatever we see as solid, liquid, gas, etc. is all 99% space only. Understand that. Because the nucleus is there in a very small area and the electron clouds are all there somewhere. And in between 99% everything is space alone is there. So whatever we see is all only an appearance really. This even scientists know that. There is no reality to what appears as the world. And in fact, it has to go and end only in consciousness, correct? So the, the Chaitanya alone is the, is the basis for everything. Now that we can understand even better now with the current scientific knowledge. But Shruti also talks about it in a certain manner. Okay. So uh, that's what now Acharya wants to show you that. So in that context, what he has introduced that the world itself is active and it is supported by the Agni Ravi Hindu. Okay. Now, let us see this. Continuing. Jagatastiti karanamithamidam prathitam ravivam hishashitritayam smritiveda janeshu bhrisham yaditi Shruti ri rita vatyanu rinam taditi. Okay. Here, Shruti, Shruti, Shruti hi irita vati. Andrinam taditi. So here, Jagataha stiti karnam itham idam prachitam. So this jagat and for it to sustain and be active and whatever is happening here, it is well known, prachitam. In this, what is that? Ravi vanhi shashi tritayam is required for that. Again, here he said agni ravi indu. Here he is using different words. Ravi, Vanhi, Shashi. Ravi is sun, Vanhi is fire, Shashi is, is moon. So these, like the sources of light are required for it to function. And without that, in fact, nothing will happen here. We won't even get food, correct? Without sunlight, there is no food. There won't be any photosynthesis. In fact, this is said also in Shruti Veda Janeshu Brisham. 
means those who know the Shruti and the Veda, they know about it very well. Because it is said in the Shruti also. Okay, many times. So, whatever is there here, this the Shruti Veda Jana means those who know the Shruti and Veda. Smriti and the Veda, sorry. Smriti Veda Janeshu. Those who know the Smriti and the Veda, for them what? The Jagat Stiti Karanam is nothing but the these three are sources of light. They know that. But the sources of light themselves are anrutam. In fact, it, this is a spelling mistake, I think. That's why I got confused when I reading it. Shruti hi iritavati anrutam taditi. This should be anrutam. Andrinam doesn't make any sense. So, Shruti says this again and again that this, this entire world and even the Ravi, Vanhi, Shashi, all these things are all Andritam only. Where is it said? Even these three things specifically also we can say. Correct? Bhridharnik also is there. Yetasya va, Aksharasya, Prashasane, Gargi. Surya, Chandra, Masa, Vidrita, Tishtataha. So you think that the Surya, Agni and Chandrama, they are the one which are supporting. Okay. But that's not true. Okay. The, the Surya, Chandra and Agni themselves are all acting only because of the this Aksharam Brahma. The Aksharam, there is Aksharam Brahma is talked about in the Bridharneka in the third chapter. There is Aksharam Brahmana. So in the due to the Aksharam Brahman alone, all these things are acting. It comes in Taitriya also, correct? Vishas Madhvata Pavate, Vishode Tisurya. Like that. Only in, in the rule of this Brahman alone, all these things are there. They are active. Because of Brahman alone, they are there really. So this is said in the Veda and Smriti also is there. If you, if you read the 15th chapter, Smriti. Yada Ditya Gatam Tejaha Jagadhasaya Tekilam Yachandramasiyachagnautatejovitimamakam Tattejo Vidhi Mamakam he says. That is my Teja Solo. Similarly, I am there in the Somo Bhutva Rasatmaka, the, the moon which is nourishing the plants. I am the one who is there as the moon. Then also the Agni in your stomach. Don't think that you are digesting. People have a very high opinion about themselves. The thing is that you cannot even digest your own food properly most of the time. Most people have this problem. But even there, what? It is not your power or anything. Bhagavan is sitting there in your stomach as the Vaishwanara Agni. And he is the one who is digesting everything and giving you nourishment. Aham Vaishwanaro Bhutva Praninam Deham Ashritaha. Like that. Bhagavan says, I am sitting in all the living beings as the Vaishwanara Agni who is responsible for digestion and all that. So, you may think that the Aditya and Sashi and Agni are all supporting the world, but they themselves are really only Brahman. Without Brahman, they will not be what they are. Correct? So this is coming out from Smriti and the Veda also. So those who know that, they know that the Shruti has said that these things are also Andritam, Andritam Taditi. They are all Andrita only. In fact, okay. So, this 
वॉट एवर यू थिंक इज दगत स्थिति हेतु दे आर ऑलो दे आर ऑलो अनृत मुनि तद अनृत सो दुति सेट दट ईरीतवती मीन उतवती इट हेस सेट इट हेज ऑलरेडी टोल दैट दुति हेज टोल इवन दिस अग्नि एंड चंद्रा एंड आदित्य all of them are also anritam how you can ask so now the acharya will go into the chandogya shruti this is specifically dealt with in the 6th chapter again because the 6th chapter in the chandogya starts with this sadeva somya idam agre asi correct sadvastu alone was there then from the sadvastu tad aikshata like that it is there the shruti vakya sadvastu is not just existence but it is also consciousness it visualized it is all knowledge and from that three devatas came who are those devatas means agni apaha and prithivi okay and not only that first they came as the tanmatras or sukshma bhutas the sukshma mahabhutas and then they combined with each other trivrut karanam it is called trivrut karanam is talked about in the sixth chapter of chandogya they mixed with each other okay and then only the the stula agni apaha prithivi and all has come and that is this entire jagat which is presented to us correct but then in the jagat itself again we are seeing sun moon fire etc and think that they are all real correct but the shruti wants to show you that they are all nothing but made up of these three devatas only therefore they are not real they are only appearances and even these three agni apaha prithivi also are only sadvastu they are from sadvastu alone is the karana for them they don't exist by themselves that way sadvastu alone is there and that sadvastu is the aitad atmya idam idam sarvam whatever is there here that sadvastu alone is the atma of all that and that sadvastu is you in fact sattva masi like that that is the teaching so here specifically the aditya chandra and agni and even uh, lightning also vidyut also is taken but acharya has not taken the vidyut here but in the upanishad the <laughs> lightning also is talked about like that so they are looked upon as there the aditya itself is looked upon as having the rohita and shukla and krishna varna okay means it is made up of parts correct it has its own uh, it is not an indivisible whole aditya also is made up of something some elements it's not a partless whole and so the parts alone are all real that's how we have to see that correct you, what you call as aditya you have first an idea that this is sun but once you try to know the constituents of the sun what it is constituted of when you look into that then there is no more sun you are only looking at the constituents like i said that you think that first you think pot is real but pot is nothing but clay it is only made up of clay but then clay itself if you look at it it is only some silica some molecules molecules you look at it, it is only atom atom you look at it there are only subatomic particles subatomic particles you look at it means then you have to go it only ends in chaitanya because the observer comes into the picture at the quantum level like this if you look at the constituents then the constituents buddhi alone is there whatever was made up correct that aggregate or compound buddhi is gone now we are only looking at the constituents so this the upanishad says that and our acharya also is going to now bring that into the picture to show that all these things are anritam this is anritam 
This is a spelling mistake here in the website. Let us see that. Yadu Rohita Shukla Sukrishna Idam Valanadi Shurupama Vaiti Janaha Tadutaija Samapyama Athana Midam Athana Miti Bruvati Trayameva to Satya Miti. Okay. So, whatever you think is Aditya. That Aditya itself is made up of some constituents that is now taken as Rohita, Shukla, and Krishna. In fact, the Upanishad Vakya for this is in the sixth chapter, fourth Brahmana of Sandogya is there. Yad Agnehe Rohitam Rupam Tejasam Tejasaha Tad Rupam. Then Yad Shuklam Tad Apam Yad Krishnam Tad Anasya. So it says, the, the Upanishad says, Yad Agnehe Rohitam Rupam. So there is a red color, let us say. That is from the Tejas. Because the three Devatas are the three elements are there. So that is from the Tejas. And whatever is the white part of the Agni, that is from the water, Apam. And whatever is the darker shade, you can say, Yet Krishnam, Tad Annasya, that is from the Anna or the Prithiri. So once you know this word, Agnehe Agnitvam Apagat, it says. Apagat Agnehe Agnitvam Vacharambadam Vikaro Namadeyam Krini Rupani Ityeva Satyam. Like this, the Upanishad Vakya is there. So whatever you call as Agni is only three Rupas. The Rohita, Shukla and Krishna Rupa. But Rohita itself belongs to the, to, to Agni. Here Agni is the, we have to take the Agni as the, uh, Atrivrit Krita Agni. Okay, because we are anyway talking about Agni first. The Rohitam of Agni is the Rohita of the Atrivrit Krita Krit Agni. Then the Shukla part is, is the Atrivrit Krita means the Tanmatra or the Sukshma. Sukshma Agni, Sukshma water, Sukshma Prithivi, like that we have to take the subtle. So the Rohita belongs to the subtle Agni, Shukla belongs to subtle water, Krishna is the, belongs to the subtle Prithivi or Anna. And therefore what? It is only Vacha Rambana. It is only a word. Agni itself is only a word. Once you look at through the constituents, then you see that this constituent of the Agni, this, these three Rupas themselves are from the the elements, subtle elements. Therefore, what? Trini Rupani Ityeva Satyam. The three Rupas alone are Satyam, you have to say. But if you look at the three Rupas, they themselves belong to the three, this Mahabhutas, and they themselves are not really Satyam because Sadeva Saumya Idamagreya, Sad alone is Satyam, Sadvastu alone is Satyam. Even these three are also only Vacharamadam. Like this, we have to understand step by step. So that's what here Acharya is referring to that. Yadu, Rohita, Shukla, Sukrushnam, Idam, Jvalanadishu, Rupam, Jvalanadishu, whatever is luminous, correct? Whatever is bright, whatever burns, Jvalanadishu, in the, in, in the things which are luminous, these three Rupas, the, these three colors of lights are there, you can say. So the, this light itself is made up of some constituent lights, okay? That we understand now, correct? Even through prism, you pass the light, there are different colors are all coming up. And then what? But they themselves are from what? Taijasam, Tadu Taijasam, Apyam, Athanam. So they are all coming from different, different sources. The red is from the Tejas or the Agni. The white is from the water and the darker shades are from the TV or Annam. So these three alone are now true. They are Satyam. Whatever you call as Agni, Aditya, Chandrama and all, they are all not Satyam. So like this, 
what is satyam is said by the shruti so the acharya is giving the the upamana from the shruti to point out that the the constituents alone are real whatever you think as an aggregate aggregate doesn't exist aggregate is just a word <laughs> okay once you look into the constituents they are only there but further you can break it down and finally you will see that only sadvastu alone is there that is the atma of everything that's what one has to understand so first he is talking about the luminous sources of light but they themselves are made up of this tejo of varnam only and they are only satyam okay then what then other examples also he gives now here see ruchaka pramukham kanaka dimayam ruchakadya vidhana nimittam iti asaditya vagamyata eva yato vibhicharavati ruchaka dimati so this is a very important thing we have to understand so the ruchaka ruchaka means what you can take it as any uh, some this ruchaka means some uh, uh, all this jewelry and all that also can be as uh, taken as this okay a necklace basically is a ruchaka you can say some jewelry now they are all made up of gold okay ruchaka pramukam kanakadi mayam they are only kanakadi maya means they are all gold maya they are only made up of gold and so ruchakadi abhidana nimittam iti means what they are all only names that means necklace chain bangle bracelet whatever all these things are only names and some form but in reality what there is only gold alone is there why because the names and forms are vibicharavati okay they change there can be there now later on it is gone okay because it is all only vacharambanam so asadit iti avagamyate eva so this all these names and forms are understood as only asad asadityeva avagamyate eva yataha because why because vibicharavati rujakadi matihi the ruchaka buddhi this necklace buddhi or chain buddhi etc it doesn't last forever in fact the same thing is said in the gita 216 what nasato vidyate bhavaha na bhavo vidyate satah ubhayor api drishtontah konayo tattva darshibih so this is a very important verse in that the bhasha is beautiful so bhashakara says there also any any objective knowledge you have that object buddhi is vibicharavati only correct it keeps on changing so first i see what this mouse buddhi laptop buddhi table buddhi chair buddhi like that whatever cognition you have whenever we cognize anything correct so that object consciousness is okay so the is buddhi is always the object consciousness is when you say consciousness is is the invariable in every cognition so when i say laptop is laptop consciousness is correct when i say phone is phone consciousness is table is table consciousness is chair is means chair consciousness is now in all this what is changing the objects are all changing that's why they are vibicharavati they are asat they are understood as asat because their cognition rises and goes but in all these cognitions pratibodha viditam matam in the kenopanishad also it is said 
what is the invariable what is understood as invariable in each and every cognition prati bodha what is known really is consciousness is alone the is buddhi never goes understand that that is called sad buddhi so bhashakara says sad buddhi na vibhicharati that's why sataha abhavaha na vidyate there cannot be any abhava for sad vastu because the sad buddhi is always there and whatever keeps changing that is all asat it can never be there abhava abhava does not have any sat and sat does not have any abhava so asataha bhavaha na vidyate na sato vidyate bhavaha na bhavo vidyate sataha sataha abhavaha na vidyate these two things one has to understand ubhayo rapi drishtonta if you understand these two means you have understand what is satyam what is mithya correct if you have understood satyam mithya properly then what you are a tattva darshi why because that satya vastu is consciousness is and consciousness is means it cannot be other than me correct i am the only conscious being there is no second consciousness available for cognition therefore i alone i am the sat vastu everything else which becomes evident to me those things are all coming and going they don't have any real existence in fact correct <coughs> so the sat buddhi alone is always there all other buddhis which come and go which are all vibhicharavati they really do not exist they do not have any bhava they do not have any existence of their own <coughs> that is the idea the ruchakadi mati hi here ruchaka can be substituted for anything else as i told you you can take it as jewel <coughs> you can take it as part you can take it as natha nikrindana nikrindana anything correct all the objects in any object conscious uh, cognition the consciousness is alone is the invariable the objects themselves keep on varying therefore they are all asat it is understood as asat only so this is the important teaching very important teaching one has to understand this so the other thing now he points out first we he pointed out that all this ruchakadi mati is vibicharavati now what the kadachid api vibicharavati kanakadi mati purushasya yataha tatayeva hi satyataya bhimatam kanakadi viparyayaye shunahi so the the ruchakadi mati is vibicharavati but what about the kanaka kanakadi mati kanaka adi means kanaka or uh, this uh, mrittika all these things correct Ka karshna yes so gold clay iron etc if you take their cognition is there like i said even when the pot is not there gold uh, this uh, uh, mrit cognition is there clay cognition pot is there also it is clay pot only correct without seeing clay you cannot see a pot so the clay mati is still there even when the pot is destroyed clay mati is still there so it is always there relatively at least with reference to clay pot clay is satyam with reference to uh, chain and gold gold is satyam with reference to nail cutter and iron iron is real satyam correct because it's mati its cognition does not go away it is not changing all the time <coughs> so when you see any karya of a karana that while cognizing the karya also the karana mati is always there it is it, it will never go so kanakadi viparyaya yeshu nahi he says means what whenever you are seeing a product made up of gold you always see it as gold only correct the gold mati will never go away gold is still there you know you say it is chain it is gold chain correct you are the kanaka mati in the gold chain never goes away the gold buddhi is always there whenever you are looking at anything made up of gold so there is no kanakaadi viparyaya adi padat again you can take 
anything which is made up of clay, you see it as clay alone, always. Correct? The clay mati never goes away. Therefore, it is satyata is there for them. It is considered real with reference to the their own products. So, the karana alone is satyam. Karya comes and goes. It is only name and form. The karya mati or the karya buddhi, there is a viparyaya is there. Change. Vibhichara is there. It keeps on changing. So, in fact, Satyam Nitya Bhashagara defines very well. In the, if you lead the Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma Bhashyam in the Taitri Upanishad, so he says, Yad Rupene Yen Vishitam Bhavati Tad Rupam Nam Vyabhicharati Iti Satyam. So, once you have ascertained something as this, it never changes. That alone is Satyam. But, if something changes, yet rupena yen nisidam bhavati, tad vebicharati means it is tad andritam, he says. That is andritam or vidya. It is not real. Once you have ascertained as this, but then this changes. First you think it is part, but then the same thing, it is broken now, it is no more part, means part is gone. If there is vebichara, is there, means part is vidya. It is not satyam. So like this, Whatever is there unchanging, that alone is the reality. In this case, relatively, the gold is unchanging with reference to its own forms. The clay is unchanging with reference to its products and forms. The iron is unchanging with reference to its effects and forms. So, in that manner, but again, if we look at it, gold, iron and clay themselves are if you look into their constituents, finally it will end up only in Sadvastu. So Sadvastu alone, Sadeva Satyam, like this the Upanishad teaches, everything else, this entire Jagat is nothing but Mithya. So that is what Acharya is trying to teach us here. He will continue that few more verses are there with the same thing. All that we will see next week. Om Pur Namadam Pur Namidam Pur Nan Pur Namudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Arihi Om Shri Guru Pranamaha Arihi Om Dhaniwadeja Dhaniwadeja